Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Manning Field for the second season for Lynn Tech. James Runner and staff has done a great job. They've turned the program around. They're 7-0, and, oh, and a win here tonight. They'll be the third team in the city to go 8-0. and oh. St. Mary's won last night. English won this afternoon. And they're looking to be the third team to win here at Manning Field today. The St. Mary's boys soccer team won their 17th straight. 17-0 with one game left on Monday. So English and St. Mary's are both 8-0. Tech trying to match them. They're taking on Marion Keefe. Tech is the number one seed at 7-0. Marion Keefe the number eight seed at 2-5. And, and Tech is trying to send Marion Keefe back home with two losses here at Manning Field. Marion Keefe played St. Mary's the second game of the season. And actually played at Marion Keefe, but they're just trying to make it 2-0 Lynn over Marion Keefe. Tech is going to kick it off. They bounced it around, bobbled, backing up, trying to get control of the ball. And it was Grady Kaufman falling down at the 35-yard line. And that's where Marion Keefe will put it in play. Marion Keefe Tech takes over first and 10. Ball off their own 35 yard line. Come out in a tight double wing. They give it to the fullback straight ahead. And they pile him up after a couple of yards. Miguel Perez. Out to the 38, they picked up three. Gain of three on the play, second down and seven. Second and seven from the 38. They give it to the fullback again. Jose Morales, the ball carrier. Jose Morales. Two. We'll call it the 43 and give him five. Third and a couple. We need a couple and a foot. The ball just shy of the 43. Third straight carry. And that's a first down. He gets it to midfield for seven and a first down. Oh, Marion Keith comes out. Just saying, here we come. First down. Marion Keith, ball to midfield strike. Emmanuel Capella, Capellan. He's a junior, he's the quarterback. Tech jumped. Flag on the plate. It's gonna be against Tech. Penalty is against Lynn Tech for encroachment. Five-yard penalty. Oh, it's gonna be first and five. Jumped. Bring up a first and five. Ball Marion. But they reacted, but they were drawn by Tech jumping. So they mark off five against the Tigers. They pitch it to the outside, and they're going to be close to a first down with Miguel Perez with the carry. Miguel Perez, the ball carrier. By number 75, they didn't give him the first down, so we have to say it's at the 44. Gain of almost five on the play. play bring up oh, the 41, down. excuse me. So they give him four. They need an inch. They run it straight ahead with Morales. And they pick up their second first down on the drive. Get it to the 36. He picked up five. Jose Morales, the ball carrier. For the 36, it'll be first and ten. Down to the first down, first and ten. 
So if nothing else, Mary Keith is keeping the ball away from the Tigers and had two big running backs. They break that double wing. They pitch it, trying to come to the near side. They're going to get hit in the backfield and dropped. That's Velasquez. Orlando Velasquez, the ball carrier. Wait. Emerson Ramirez with the tackle. They no put the ball to the 37. They only, they only lost a yard. They were going to put it back further. And now they kind of pile it up. White shirts pushing one way, blue shirts pushing the other way. And that's Morales again. Taking it to the 31. He picked up six. Morales, the ball carrier. Third and five. They go back to the double wing. Five. Tech jumped. Flag is down. They get a first down and more. They'll take the play. Just running straight ahead. Flag on the plank. Apparently against Lynn Tech or offside. They wave it off. That was Perez with the carry. They picked up the first down. The ball's at the 23. They picked up eight yards on the play, so they refused the penalty. The third first down of the drive. First and 10. They've used up over four minutes. They give it to him again. Bangs ahead. He's got another first down inside the 10. Back-to-back -back first downs. They put it at the nine. They picked up 14. First and goal from the nine. Nothing fancy. They're just running straight at Tech. They line up in that double wing. I didn't see a flag. It looked like Tech jumped again. They got a good jump, anticipating the snap. They lost a yard to the 10. Jose Morales, ball carrier. He only gasped with the tackle. Loss of one on the play. Morales is carrying on just about every play. This is the 11th play of the drive. They've used up half of the first period. Second and goal from the 10. And they stay in that tight double wing. Rolling, looking in the back of the end zone. But for a touchdown. Rolando Velasquez, Kaplan. Sixty-five yards in eleven plays. They snap it. They run it in, but they throw a flag because they, everybody was moving. A little trickery. The quarterback lined up to do the kicking. They caught it, pitched it to him. He threw it out, but everybody was moving, and that's going to nullify the conversion. So they'll move it back to the eight-yard line. But they used just over half of this first period and they've jumped on top six to nothing. Looking to make it eight.
They stay in the double wing. Taking, rolling, looking, taking off and running with it. And diving in. Capellan dove in for the two point conversion. 527 We got the replay coming up. You see him there. The all out dive, he gets in. 65 yards in 11 plays, and they kind of shock Lynn Tech. They use up three seconds past the halfway mark of this first period. Five minutes and 33 seconds they used up on the drive. And now Tech has to answer back. Gonzalez and Gravely go back deep. Awaiting the kick of Cal Martin. They only have seven seniors. They kick it away. And it's going to go out of play. Well, let's see what Tech does. They can have him kick it again. Doesn't look like they're going to have him kick it again. They're discussing it with James Runner. And I think he's going to have him kick it again. They're not. They're going to put it at the 30 yard line. And he First to 10 Lynn Tech, off their own 30 yard line. From the 30, Tech will put it in play. Barrios will be the quarterback. Gaskins, Gravely, the running backs. If they throw it, look for him to throw it to Gonzalez, the primary receiver, but also Jamie James. I always say the young man with two names. They double the White House to either side, both running backs in the backfield with, with Barrios. They go in motion. They give it to Gravely off the right side. Tucks his head and gets across the 35. Out to the 37. Boy, you got me with the tackle. And seven on the play. Second, Second and three. three. Ball to Lynn Tech, 37. <laughs> Same setup. Build the backfield. Three White House, two of them to the near side. They send motion. And they try to run it straight ahead. Not getting much. That's Chance Bono back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third and three. And I'm looking at Chance Bono in the backfield. Yaskin was banged up the last game. Sat on the bench at the end. We were hoping he'd be okay, but evidently not because he's not in the lineup. I don't see his number on the sideline. Now I do see his number on the sideline. They try to run it straight ahead, cutting it back. Gravely, second, third effort gets him a first down. Still pushing and tugging and piling and the referee. If they don't blow the whistle a little sooner than that, we're gonna have some problems in this game. As we get down near the end. 
They give him nine to the 46. There's going to be, if the game gets out of hand score-wise, there's going to be some banging and whacking going on and all that pile of humanity. They'll be under three minutes left in the period when they snap the ball. Trying to turn the corner, spinning away, not getting anything. They're trying to send Gonzalez. He couldn't get around the corner when he cut up. They nailed him and knocked him back. No gain on the play. No gain on the play, second down and 10. Second and 10 from the 46. Aaron keeps creeping up. You'll have to see Barrios throw it downfield to Gonzalez. They've connected some for some big plays and a few touchdowns. They take it to Gravely. Barrios keeps and he gets about a yard. Third and nine for the Tigers. Double wideouts go to the far side this time. Barrios looking to throw. Incomplete. Trying to hit gravely. Even if he caught it, nothing was going to happen. He was, he was diving to try and make the catch. And the way Marion moved the ball, I don't know if they're going to punt the ball. They can't give Marion the ball at this point. So not the start that everybody thought it would be. Kick is away. Takes a little bit of a tech bounce. Gonna go out of play inside the 25. At the 24, they'll put it in play. They stay in that tight double wing. Tech almost jumped again, and they just Run straight ahead. Here I come, try and stop me. It's Morales again. Jose Morales, the ball carrier. Give him four to the 28. Get a five on the plate. I'm not sure why the so clock isn't moving. Trying to bang it to the outside. They just got a piece of him. Jamie James, I think, just got a piece of him. And Morales, he grabbed his ankle and he went down. Gonna put it at the 32, I think. About Mary Keith. Mary Keith takes a timeout. And it's gonna be third and a couple. 
And actually, that's the end of the period. Clock still shows a minute three, but we're through the first period very quickly. The first ran three plays, got a first down. They ran three plays and punted. That's 17 yards in the first period. Marion had 68, they drove 65, helped out by a five yard penalty. So they have the ball now, third and a couple from their 32 yard line. I'm gonna take a wild stab and say this is gonna be the fullback running straight ahead. And that's what they do, he got whacked they knocked him down. That was Liam Dolan. Ryan Ash keeps the ball carry up. Tackle by number 28, Ewan Gaskin. Picked up three, it'll be a first down, first and 10. They're leading eight to nothing and they're keeping the ball away from the Tigers. Here we come, stop us. They turn the corner. And they're gonna get inside tech territory. They faked up the middle. They gave it to Perez around the corner. He got to the tech 48. 17 yards and a first down. And 12 on the play in the first down. First and 10, Marion Key, 12 to Lynn Tech 48. You're gonna get a yard at best. And that was Perez again. Actually got two. Second and eight. Second down and eight. Ball to the wind tech 46. They break the double wing. They pitch it, the ball goes loose, and they're gonna lose yardage. They threw it kind of low. Perez couldn't handle it. And they put it back at the 48 yard line. They lost six. So the third and just about 14. 13. Actually, the ball's right between 48 and 49. It's about three and a half. We'll bring up a third down 13. Thinking, rolling, looking. They dump it off. It's caught. And a hit and a half. Tech came up with the football. Al. Badawi, uh, Marion coach can't believe it. Here's the replay. Rolling out, looking. They let it fly. He's wide open, and what a hit and a half by Barrios. At the Tech 43. Get the head of steam up. Ravely's gone. They got the hole, he got to the outside, he takes it to the house.
When we got loose, here's the replay. Just started off the right tackle, broke into the outside, clear sailing, nobody anywhere near him down the sideline. Fifty seven yards. They convert the fumble recovery by Ali Badawi. And Tech is gonna go for two. And they go power eye in the backfield. The pitch to Gravely. Walks in for the conversion. Just over eight minutes left. Tech gets back in it. The second first down of the half is a 57-yard touchdown run. 57 yards in one play. Badawi, who will kick it off. He recovered the fumble. That was a, a hit, and I felt that one up here in the press box. Barrios hit the receiver, Joe Casca, and just, I'm, I'm surprised Joe Casca got up. Badawi's coming to the sideline. He forgot something. I don't know if it was his mouthpiece or God or whatever. Now he's back, he's gonna kick it away. They kick the ground ball, bounces up in the air at the 31 yard line. And they'll get shy of the 40. Orlando Velasquez on the return. Got to by number one, Alvin Gonzalez. Barry Keith takes over first and 10. Ball from their own 39 yard line. To the Marion 39. Gravely gets a little bit of life in the tech bench and they're mocking off a penalty. It's a big 15 yarder. Play resumed, first and 10 deep. Ball to Lynn Tech, 47. At the tech 47 yard line. They only mocked off 14 yards. They try to run it straight ahead. And they get a little, that little push and shove from behind. And that's Perez. Getting it to the 43. He picked up four. Second and six. Ball to Lintec 43. He gave it to Perez around the corner. On the key. Gonzalez saved a longer run. Gonzalez. He picks up the first down. Scrimmage with the 47. It's a first down. Correction play does result in a first down. He picked up seven. Keith, 
11 yards gives you a, a yard more than you need for a first down. At the 36, first and 10. And Tech is going to take a timeout to talk about it. Marion's come out and just run the ball right down the throat of the Tigers. This is the quarterfinal round in Division 8 North. Tech comes in at the number one seed, 7 0, looking to go 8 0. Looking to become the third Lynn team. St. Mary's and English have already accomplished it. They moved to the semifinals. Tech hasn't run that many plays. They've run seven plays here in the first half. Not counting the punt. Three of them have been for zero, one for a yard. The big one, the 57 yard run for the touchdown. They wrap them up right at the line of scrimmage. Second and nine. Keep by the quarterback. He's going to get wrapped up, hit, and that's going to be a face mask, I think. They grabbed him, but they grabbed the face mask. Emerson Ramirez made his second play, but he got up around the face mask. I think. It's a face mask against the quarterback. He reached out and got Ramirez's face mask. So they get nothing on the play. And they move it back 15 yards to midfield. So second down again. Now they need a whole bunch. They need 29. They will bring up a second down in 24 ball from the midfield strike. They need 24. Reverse coming to the near side. And they drop him. That's Jamie James with the play. Morales back in the game. He picked up four. It'll be third down and 20 as we're coming up on the halfway mark of this second period, a very quick first half. And we're dead even at eight. Third down and 20. Ball for Lynch at 46. Whiteouts right and left as they go in that double wing. Now in that double wing, they go from the spread. Rolling, looking, gonna take off and run with it. We got a flag on the play. That's a first down, but that's probably gonna be a hold. Holding against Marion. And I, this is the greatest time ever in a football game because you always look at the coach and say, do you want to give him that 25 yard run or do you want to push him back 10 yards?
They were going up in third and very long. They're all over the quarterback. He throws it up. Gravely almost picked it. Capilano's pass is pinned for Ryan Estes. Broken up by Stefan Gravely. Like we'll bring up a fourth and long. He'll kick it away. And uh, breathe a sigh of relief because they he almost like threw that away. Threw it off his back foot all the way across field to the tech sideline and gravely almost picked it. And we can look at the tech cheerleaders. Now we'll look for the punt. Gravely back there. They're running a player out. And now Marion is going to take a 30 second timeout. They only had 10 guys on the field. Cal Martin is the punter. Short punt off the side of his foot and it goes out of bounds. He wouldn't have come anywhere near getting a first down with the punt. I don't know if he got it out of his own end. They're going to put it right at midfield, I think. That's an eight yard kick. Eight yards on the punt off the side of his foot. Tech has got great field position. First and ten. One tick over five minutes left. They'd love to get down and score. They get the ball to start the second half. They send two wideouts to the far side, one to the near side. Now Barrios wants a timeout. He looked over and saw something, didn't like it. Gaskin is back in the backfield, or, or in the backfield. He hasn't been here before. And you're going to look at the tech cheerleaders. Back to football. They run straight ahead. That was Gaskin with his first carry. He picked up five. Same setup, two wide outs to the near side, one to the far side. Oh, motion, they figure to the motion man. They give it to Gravely. He's got a step to the outside. They bump him out of bounds. Stephon Gravely on the carry. Pushed out of bounds. That's Here's the replay, they fake it off the right down. side. What a big block. They just knock him out. 39 yard run. At the six yard line. That puts him over 100 yards yet again. He became the leading rusher in the school's history. And he's adding to that. They're going to pile up. And the bottom of that pile is Gaskins. They move it back to the eight. 
He lost a couple. Correction, lost a two on the play. Second down and goal. We know they have a kick at Jamie James if they need him. They give it to Gravely, they're not gonna need him. He walked right in. He took one step to his right, broke it back to the left and ran right to the goal post. He's got his second touchdown. They make it back-to-back -to -back possessions, touchdowns. 50 yards in four plays. 47 picked up by Gravely. They get it down. Extra point is good. Jamie James down. kicks it through. And it wasn't, it was Barrios that kicked it through. Just over three minutes left. Three twenty four showing on the scoreboard clock. Ali Badawi will kick it off. The tech coaches like to go 10 or 15 yards downfield and get out a little bit on the field to signal to their players and the officials are trying to keep them on the sideline. They kick the ground ball, deflected, and he'll fall on it. The knee goes down at the 35 yard line. Kickoff is down by Keith. Barry and Keith will take over first and 10 ball off their own 35 yard line. So for the first time, Marion Keith is behind in the ball game. With just over three minutes left in his first half. Not what everybody th thought it would be. Marion Keefe against St. Mary's got annihilated. And they thought Tech would be running all over Marion, but Marion's come out pumped up. And they might have caught Tech a little bit by surprise. Tech might have read some of the press clippings thinking it was going to be an easy game. I'm sure James Runner didn't think so. He didn't want his kids to think so. But it's hard when you read all that stuff. In the double wing, and they moved. It's going to cost them five. Flag on the plate. Ball stock. Jeff Perry keep. First and 15. Ball They'll move it back to the 30. It'll be first and 15. Coming to the near side, Perez, where they had a steam up. And that was Morales, actually. Jose Morales on the carry. Picks up a first down. Sixteen yards and a first down. That puts Marion over 100 yards rushing.
There's that pile again. Picked up one. At the 47, second and nine. Incomplete. Ante Lopez had to turn around. He was going one way, the pass was going the other. Third and nine. I think they just gave the two minute warning to both sides. So there's two minutes left and a half. Tech has squeaked out a 15 to eight lead after falling behind eight to nothing. They send a wide out to the far side. They break that double wing. They fake, rolling. They let it fly long and deep downfield. It's picked off at the 24 yard line. Gonzalez with the pick. So from the 24, Gonzalez with the catch, almost broke a tackle. Got to go way up and get that one. Out to the 38, 14 yards in the first down. Well, they would take a lot of wind out of the sails of Marion if they could score here. The catch is made and they gave away a couple of yards. Jamie James with the catch. Jamie they picked up six. I think Tech took a 30 second timeout. Folks, another reminder at halftime go enjoy some hot chocolate, coffee, tea, nachos, hot dogs. All for your dining, drinking pleasure. One twenty-three showing on the scoreboard clock. Again, we take a look at the Tech cheerleaders. They double the White House to either side. They were going to throw it deep. Wait and see if they call an incomplete pass. Everybody diving for the ball. He didn't. They called a fumble. They lost four on the play. Third and eight. Under a minute. Well under a minute when they snapped the ball. Again, they double the White House to either side. Marion's just going to get the quarterback, knowing they're going to throw the ball. He temp it out to Gaskin, and not going to get the first down. We're going to time out. Gain of 
They get to the 46, they picked up six on the pass. It'll be fourth down and just about two. A yard and a half. This is why you can't have perfect stats in football because I'm saying it's at the 46 because they haven't reached the 47. Other people will say it's the 47 because they got to cross the 46. And you do that enough during the course of a football game and you see a little bit of a distance difference with number one, five, people's eight, stats. Nine, zero, nine, Again, one, five, eight, nine, zero, nine, so they need a yard and a half. Thank you for supporting Tiger Athletics. I don't know. Oh, good boy, they got two timeouts left. I don't know if that's accurate. They got to go downfield with only 34 seconds left. He's heading the wide out to the far side, way out. He's almost in the Marion bench area. They give it to Gaskin. Straight ahead, he's loose down the sideline. They bump him out at the 30 yard line. Gaskin on the carry. Out of 24 yards in the first down. Dante Lopes. That took six seconds. Well, now they can certainly take a shot. They bobble the snap. They let it fly deep. Bravely was there, but he couldn't get there. He was wide open. Barrios had to worry about getting sacked. He did a good job getting rid of it. Marion was all over him. Here's the replay. Bobbled it. They're right there off his back foot. He just had to heave it up and hope Gravely could run under it. 23 ticks showing on the clock. Second and 10. The down and distance is almost meaningless. They have to go a lot more than the first down with the clock winding down. Mario springs the play back to the huddle. Double wide outs, right and left. Barrios looking, rolling. Let's it fly deep again. They're back there. And it looked like they ran into the receiver. Jamie James was there looking to make a basket catch. And they ran into him and knocked it away. Again, Marion getting to him. Watch Barrios here. Rolling, getting out. He got hit just as he let it go. And there's, they got a hand on it. Jamie James was looking to make a basket catch in the end zone, like a fly ball to the center fielder. And as he was waiting, catching up, I think it was Morales. It got back there and got a hand up and knocked it away. Third and 10. They let it fly deep again, too far for Gonzalez. So we're down to this last play, fourth down. Tech will get the ball to start the second half. Marios on the sideline getting the play from the coaching staff. It's Alan Bursey, I believe, is the offensive coordinator. Stop, 
Ariel's dropping back, lets it fly deep again. Picked off. Picked at the five yard line by the quarterback, Capellan. One play, I don't know if they're going to run a play or just take a knee. They just take a knee and we're going to get out of here. So, Marion giving Tech all they could handle. They came out, drove 65 yards in 11 plays with the first series. They took an 8 nothing lead. The 10-yard pass play from Capellan to Rolando Velasquez. And then Capellan ran in the conversion. It was 8 nothing. Tech finally got some life. They threw a pass, it was complete. They knocked it loose. Ali Badawi recovered it at the Tech 43. The next play, Gravely went 57 for the touchdown. He ran the conversion, it was eight to eight. They shut Marion down. They had to kick it away. The kick only went out to midfield. It took Tech four plays. Gravely ran 39 to get close. He ran it in from the eight. The kick by Barrios was good. And that's where we are, 15 to eight. Tech will get the ball to start the second half. But they're looking to go eight and zero. Oh, but uh, Marion giving them all they can handle here in the first half. 15 to eight, Tech over Marion at halftime. Just about set for the kickoff as we say to start the second half. They kick a little ground ball, fielded. Turning it back inside, pretty good return. Tech will have pretty good field position. At the 47, Tech had 144 yards rushing in the first half. 120 of them by Gravely with his two touchdowns. He also rushed in a two-point conversion. High snap again. They bobble it. It goes to the ground. And they're going to turn it into a touchdown. Gonzalez picks it up and runs it for a touchdown. Are you kidding me? Ripley's, believe it or not. Here's the bobble. It bounced. Gonzalez picked it up. Everybody going for the football. He picked it up and ran it to the sideline. Nobody touched him. That's why a long time... I've stopped saying I've seen it all because every time I do, something like that happens. Jamie James will look for his second extra point. I think I said last time that Barrios kicked it, but he was the holder. They pop it straight up in the air. The extra point is no good. 35 left in the and they quarter. crush the hole to Barrios. But he's okay. He gets up walking out. So Tech has a little bit of breathing room. They go over 200 yards with that run. Two 
through 23 to be exact. Ali Badawi will kick it off so very quickly. Actually 15 seconds into the second half. And what a strange turn of events. 15 seconds counting the kickoff. They kick a ground ball that bounces around. They'll fall on it at the 42 yard line. So Marion will have pretty good field position. Morales was the leading rusher. He had 79 yards in the first half. Perez ran for 29. They ran for 110. And we got another penalty against Tech at the end of the play. Another big one, 15 yards. And he marked it off 16 yards. 15 yard penalty against Lynn From 142 Tech. to the Tech 42. That's 16 yards. So the 16 yard penalty gives Marion a first down. And they start at the Tech 42. They go to that double wing. They try to run it off the right side. This time the pile is going to get pushed backwards rather than forwards. They're going to put it right back at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Jose Morales, the ball carrier. No gain on the play. They will bring up a second and ten. Thirteen carries for Morales in the first half, and, and he sat down a little bit. And they knock him back again. They put it back at the 43, lost a yard. It's third and 11. <laughs> Slipping a tackle was Perez. They looked like they had him for a little bit. I think this is four down territory here. They got to the 36, he picked up seven. Running to the 36, gives him 36 yards rushing. Fourth down and four. So fourth and four. And now, Capellan wants a timeout, a 30 second timeout. Opening drive of the second half for Marin. They saw a, a bizarre touchdown. A snap on the first play of the half. Off the fingertips of Barrios. It, it went over, bounced over his head. It bounced up. Picking it up was Elvin Gonzalez. And he ran it for a touchdown. And now Marion is going to get well, pushed back five more Marion. yards. Please have a seat so the people behind you can see. Please, if you're standing up on the railing, please be considerate of the people behind you. Thank you.
Now I think they're going to kick it away. They were going to go from the 36. Now they're going to kick it away. And Cal Modden will do the honors again. High snap. Another shot kick. And it takes a little bit of a Marion bounce. It's going to go out of bounds across the 20. They put it at the 22. So let's see what they have up their sleeve now. They just ran that bizarre touchdown. Gonzalez was elven on the spot when it bounced. He picked it up, and everybody looking for the ball on the ground, he just picked it up and ran to the near sideline and ran in the end zone 53 yards to give Tech some breathing room. Flag on the play, that's going to be against Tech. On the play, ball start against Lynn Tech. I'll make it first and 15 from the 17. Play resumes, first and 15 for Lynn Tech. Ball on their own 17 yard line. Arios in the middle of that huddle, giving signaling the play for everybody. Motion. They run it straight ahead. Uh, getting a penalty back a lot more, and there's a flag coming in at the end of the play, I think. He picked up 13 yards. And the penalty is it going to be against personal Tech? Foul. Personal foul. And it's going to move it back to the 15 yard line. So give him 13 yards. And then push Tech back to the 15. And that was the end of the uh, the end of the play. So the the play counts the 13 yard gain. So now it's second down and 17. So they had penalty. They run the play and they get a penalty. And I'm not sure what the discussion is now. I don't know if they're thinking they should have marked it off in the line of scrimmage. But they shouldn't have. They did it the right way. And they all agree. Second down and 17 from the 15 yard line. Barrios looking to throw over the middle. Had it, couldn't hold on. Gonzalez, he, he took a hit and he's down. He's getting up. He's a tough kid. Went over the middle, went up, got a hand on it, and got drilled. Broken up by number nine, Jose Morales. Play will bring up a fourth and 17. I didn't think it was fourth down. I think Tech's getting gypped a play. They had a motion penalty. They had the run, which they counted. 
And now Tech kicks it away. It takes a good Tech bounce. And Jamie James will watch it die at the 40-yard line. I think they jip Tech a play. Mary Key takes over first and 10, start their own 40-yard line. They lined up at the 22. The first play was procedure. Made it first and 15. Second play, gravely ran for 13 yards. That play counted because there was a penalty after the play, moving it back to the 15. Then the incomplete pass. I don't know where the other down went. <laughs> From the 40. Over the middle, it's caught and knocked loose. Tech comes away with it. Gaskin. Trying to run it back, staying on his feet down to the 15 yard line. Emmanuel Capelon's pass was complete to number 45. The replay is here, in it to the 13 yard line. There's the hit, wobbling it around. He picked it up at midfield. To the 13 yard line. Gaskin returns to the 15, first and 10, Lynch Tech. They haven't put the ball down yet. Off the Marion Keith, 16 yard line. They're calling him out at the 16, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see the young man get up. Gaskins off the left side. They just got an ankle. Gaskin, the ball carrier. Alfred Quinones Phillips. Every Jeremy Quinones. 61, not 51. And about one on the flight. The ball is at the 14 yard line. So it was actually a 36 yard return. They give him a yard to the 13. Mario will bring the play back to the huddle. That's the second huge hit. And he caught the pass and got crunched. Off the right side, slips a tackle. Going to walk in the end zone. And that's Gravely. His third, here's the replay, sat it up the middle, just pushed that tackle away and ran right inside the cone. Fourteen yards in two plays. After that 36 return. He picked it up and almost ran it back for two points. The point is no good. There's a flag on the plate. Penalty against Mary. Mary 
Marion was offside. They're going to get another shot. Looks like they're going to go for two. They send one wide out, way out to the far side. They're going to go power eye in the backfield. Coming into block is Chance Bono. Gravely the deep man in the power eye. They handed it off to Gaskin and he ran it in. Score line check 29. Barry D8. Here's the replay. They handed it, ran it to a stack, bounced it off, and walked in. Heck will kick it off, and the game has changed tremendously here in the second half. They bounce it back at the 23-yard line, and they just got an ankle. That's a nice job with the open field tackle. And that was Giuliani Daniels. At the 33 is where Marion will put it in play. So they had to be a little bit worried. Down eight to nothing, and even going into halftime, only up 15 to eight. But they've had the ball twice, and they scored twice. Once in that wacko play that Gonzalez picked it up, bouncing off the ground, and ran it 53 yards. And then Gaskins picked up a fumble off a huge hit on a completed pass. And he ran it 36 yards. 30 seconds timeout, Marion Keefe. Marion Keefe again, they had only 10 players. They have to use another timeout. But Gaskins pick up the ball at midfield, ran it 36 yards to the 14. He picked up one to the 13 and then gravely scored again. Did the ball go to the ground? Tech thinks it did. Tech got the football. Barry Keith fumble we cover by number six. Kevin, Kevin Aguilar. Aguilar. Land Tech takes over first and ten. Off the Barry Keith, 30 yard line. They put the ball at the Marion 30. So tables have turned. Marion was running straight ahead, picking up good yardage. The opening drive went 65 yards. They were still moving the ball. They, they turned it over, but now in the second half, they fumbled it twice and given Tech very good field position. And we got another timeout down the field. One tick under six minutes. 
in this third period and what looked like might be a tough game has now turned into a little bit of a breeze a little bit easier on the tech sideline and the tech fans and there's a pretty good crowd here for this one even on the other side Marion brought a few people that's a long trip So it appears as though, unless lightning strikes, all three undefeated teams, Glasgow, English, Tech, are going to still be undefeated. Gravely stops, cuts, gets back to the near side. He's loose again. He's looking for a block. He runs right by and he runs right into the end zone. They had all kinds of chances. There's a flag at the five yard line. That's going to be against Tech. That's going to be against Tech. Watch this. Watch how far he runs to run 30 yards. Stop there. Stop there. Stop there. Bounces around. Gets down the sideline. Runs right through a couple of tackles and they're going to call an illegal block against Tech, I believe. They gave him to the four. 26 yards and a first down. He's on the verge of 200 yards. They move it back to the 14 with the 10 yard penalty. He didn't need the block. He ran right through a couple of arm tackles. First and goal from the 14. Barrios with the keep. Turns the corner. They just got a piece of him as he got to the four yard line. Stanley Barrios on the quarterback keep. Should be a first down. Well, it's first and goal from the four. Tech looking to make it three for three here in the third period. As we pass the halfway mark. They give it to Gaskin straight ahead. He walks in for the touchdown. Gaskin with the carry and with that touchdown. Score on tech 35. Academy 8. 30 yards in three plays. 26 of them picked up by Gravely. They had to go 40 counting the 10 yard penalty. Two hundred and ninety yards of offense. And they're gonna try and kick the extra point. Barrios the holder. Jamie James the kicker. And he boots it through. Thirty-six to eight. And what looked like might be a battle for Tech has turned out to be not so. If there is a representative from New Michigan in the facility, could he please meet the AD from Lintech at the concession stand? And then a representative from New Mission, please meet the athletic director from Lintech 
at the concession stand. Thank you. Thirty six unanswered points after falling behind eight to nothing on the opening drive. And Ali Badawi will exercise that foot again. And he kicks another ground ball at the twenty three yard line. And it's gonna get wrapped up and knocked down by Ulysses Oliveras. Perez on the return. Juan Vasquez, Kevin Lewis in on the tackle. Marion Keith takes over first. At the 27 yard line. 27 yard line. What was a very quick first half, and it's turning out to be a little longer third period. Still. Four and a half minutes if the clock is correct. They run it straight ahead for very short yardage. Ryan Sistrand is the new quarterback. No gain on the play. Ryan Estes on the carry. Gain about one on the play, second down and nine. Actually, they gave him a yard. They break that double wing. Trying to sweep the right side. Perez gets around. Gets the first down and a yard or two more. Out to the 38. Picked up 11. Back to the double wing. They try to run it straight ahead. They get wrapped up. No gain there. Ryan Estes, the ball carrier. Bring it to him with the tackle. No gain on the play. Second and ten. Second down and nine. And that, the scoreboard says 2.10 left. That's the end of the period. So we'll have 11 minutes of football left. So oh, 11 minutes of football left.
Gravy has rushed, rushed for 172 yards. Sweeping the far side. And he shut it down. Velasquez. I think he's going to go a lot further. He got to the 41-yard line. He picked up three. Get a timeout. They're using up all their timeouts. Aaron Keep scored the first touchdown, going 65 yards in 11 plays. They got the conversion, it was eight to nothing. And then all of a sudden, tech offense came to life. Gravely got them even with a 57-yard run and a two-point conversion. They took their first lead, gravely in from the eight. Jamie James kicked his first of two conversion, and it was 15 to eight. And he just kept adding from there, 36 unanswered points. Four touchdowns and a two-point conversion by Gravely. He's just piling up the points. He's got 26, excuse me, of the 36 points. Rolling, looking. They try to dump it off. They overthrew the intended receiver. And that was Ryan Estes, a tight end. And Marion's going to have to kick it away. They have not completed a pass. Excuse me, they, had, they completed two. Picking it up at the 26 yard line. And they're finally gonna bring him down at about the 25, trying to get, trying to come to the near side and get around and couldn't. Put it at the 25. Straight ahead across the 30. Gaskin with the carry. To the 33, picked up eight. We'll bring up a second down and two. Ball from the wing cap, 33. Flag on the play. Gaskin, the ball carry up 
That's going to be against Tech. Yeah, it's going to cost Tech. They mark it back to the 23. Well, it's going to be second down at about 12. They marked it back to the 22 from the point of the foul. So a second and 13. Arios with the keep. Turns the corner, staying on his feet. He's got a first down and a lot more. Just took it around the corner. Out to the 45, he picked up 23. Coming to the near side, he's got a head of steam up, slips a tackle. That's going to hurt his average. He had one carry for 53 yards. He gets to the Marion 38. 17 yards. He's got 70 yards rushing. Heck, well over 300 yards rushing. And that's Bono getting a shot. He picks up seven. Second and Barrios looking to throw, lets it fly deep. Everybody behind. Perfect strike to Brandon Tui. Seventy five yards in five plays. Ladies and gentlemen, Link Tech will play next Saturday evening at six thirty against New Mission. And is here at Manning Field. Next Saturday, six thirty PM at Manning Field against New Mission. Here's the re uh, we just caught the very end of the replay. We show him handing the ball to the official.
I didn't see a signal. They blew the whistle and blew the play dead. They're going to mark it off against Tech. from the 15 yard line, trying the extra point. They get it down, and he kicks it through. Well, I miscalculated before. Gravely has three touchdowns and a PAT. Gaskin has a touchdown and a PAT. Jamie James has kicked three. Ramirez now has two carries for 70 yards and a touchdown. And two, he has one catch for 31 yards and a touchdown. And he booted away. And it's going to go out of, out of bounds. And we still have half of the fourth period left. 376 yards of offense. They're going to take it at the 30 yard line. Double wing, and we got a whistle, and we're going to get a timeout. Timeout by Tech. Again, 43 unanswered points by the Tigers. They trailed eight to nothing on the opening drive. It was only 15 to eight at halftime. Four touchdowns in the second half. They run it straight ahead. That was Ryan Estes, a, an end with the carry. Ryan Estes on the carry. Made a four on the play, second down and seven. Second and seven. Heck, we'll be back here. I believe they said next Saturday night. They run it straight ahead again. That pile of humanity. Gets a first down. That's going to cost Tech five. Tech. 
It'll be first and five. Take some head and get off the field when they snap the ball. Estes again. First down. Two minutes left in the ball game. The clock again, almost two minutes off. Bouncing it to the outside, getting it inside the 45 at Estes again. Second and four, time winding down. 65 yards in 11 plays. It was the quarterback, uh, Capellan, going to Rolando Velasquez for 10 yards. He, quarterback Capellan ran in the conversion and it was eight nothing. As we get Hunter Anderson with the carry. To the 37, he picked up six and another first down. They run it straight ahead again, that pile of humanity. That's what they did on the opening drive. They get it to the 27. 10 and another first down. That's the biggest dozen, 13 first downs. And they run it again. They pile it up. They don't pull the whistle. <laughs> they picked up four, and that's gonna do it. That's the final play of the ball game. 156 rushing, 26 passing, 182 yards of offense, and 13 first downs. It'll be Marion Keefe now dropping down into the non-playoff berth. Tech will match Lynn English and St. Mary's, the third team in the city, to go 8-0. and After that 8 nothing lead on the opening drive, it was Tech. It was Ali Badawi recovering a fumble at the Tech 43. The first play, Gravely went 57. He ran the conversion. We were tied at eight. A short punt put the ball at midfield. Gravely ran for 39. Then Gravely ran it in from the eight. The conversion by Jamie James made it 15 to eight. And that where we were at halftime. And Tech just dominated the second half. They went 53 yards in one play. That bizarre play, the snap tipped high over the quarterback's head. It bounced down. Everybody looking for the ball, and it was Elvin Gonzalez picking it up, running it for a touchdown, 53 yards. They then, it was Gaskin picking up a loose ball at the 50-yard line after a big hit on a receiver. He returned to 36 yards to the 14. Gravely ran in from the 13. It was 27 to eight. Gaskin ran in the conversion, made it 29. A fumble recovery by Kevin Aguilar at the 30 yard line. Gravely ran for 26. Barrios ran for 10. Gaskins took it in from the four to make it 35. The con conversion by Jamie James made it 36. 
Then he went 75 yards in five plays. Barrios picked up 23 of them. Barrios went to Brandon Tui, 31 yards for the touchdown. Jamie James was good again. It was 43 to 8, and that was all she wrote. So Gravely with three touchdowns runs for 172 yards. Gaskin runs for 40. Scores a touchdown of PAT. Gravely had a PAT as well. Jamie James kicks three. Ramirez ran for 70 with two carries for 70 yards, 153 for the touchdown. Two, the catch for 31 yards and a touchdown. Barrios ran for 30. They ran all over the place. They put up 376 yards of offense, running for 319, and they score 43 unanswered points after they fell behind 8 to nothing. They are going to go to 8 and 0. Oh, a perfect season stays wide open. They'll be back here, I believe they said Saturday night, uh, and they'll try to make it a win, which would put them in the division. They now move on to the division semifinals. If they come back next Saturday and win again, they'll go to the division final, and uh, they've got it going on all cylinders, and they win it tonight going away 43 to 6, 43 unanswered points. They go to 8 and 0. Lynn Tech, 43. Marion Keefe. They lose to two Lynn teams, St. Mary's and now Tech. Marion Keefe, 6. So 43 to 6. Tech over Marion Keefe, the final score. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm John Hoffman saying we'll see you next time.